Stanford and Pitt have had the ultimate El Paso experience leading up to kickoff. The Sun Bowl treatment is unlike any other bowl game experience really in the entire country, from the food to the boots, a trip to Fort Bliss. They've done it all, and now it's time to play some football. Both teams have been prepping for the last five days in El Paso. Stanford at Trooper Stadium at Eastwood High School, and then you got Pitt over at the sack. Well, it might be, not be, I should say, a top 25 matchup like we're used to seeing in the Sun Bowl. This game is pretty intriguing on paper, not to mention it's the Sun Bowl. Just when you think you've seen it all, this game rolls around every year and surprises us. Stanford is looking to win this game for the second time in three years. Pitt is trying to win their first bowl game under head coach Pat Narduzzi. As a university, we'd like to win a bowl game. Uh, I think for those kids in the locker room, you'd like to win a bowl game. Um, you know, I've won some through my career, so it won't be my first bowl win, um, but it would be a first bowl win as a head coach, and, and you know, obviously that'd be fun too. We're going to enjoy all that the bowl has, but when it's the time to work, um, we're going to get to work. We're going to probably practice physically. We practice it. We get after it. We go fast. Unbelievable hospitality that we get an opportunity to take advantage of. So we're going to soak all that up, and when it's time to play football, we're going to play football. Over the last five days, we've been bringing you players to watch for in tomorrow's game, and you don't want to miss J.J. Arcega Whiteside's story and his internship that he had over the summer. We're going to have that story for you tonight at 10.